3D printed Warhammer models is not the future. If everybody started to 3D print their own models, then Games Workshop will go out of business and there'll be no more Warhammer. So really, if you have a 3D printer, then all you're doing is stealing the IP and you're putting people out of jobs. I can't believe that 95% of the people in the Warhammer hobby actually believe this. Warhammer itself is a small niche hobby and I think that it could be a lot bigger if G-Dubs would just listen and adapt to the changing what? times. When I was younger, I felt like Warhammer was even more popular than Pokemon and it's something that I'll touch on later but before I do you need to stop thinking of 3d printing is not the future my 3d printer is hands down the best tool that I've purchased for this hobby it's given me the ability to be able to 3d print both full armies and also unique proxy models it's paid for itself multiple times over and I really don't see a future without it this is probably the single biggest point that gets missed with 3d printers it's just another tool and a very important one at that. For those that can make the space in their home for a 3D printer, it opens up a whole world of possibilities. You can actually print off more unique chaos demons that actually look like nightmares from the warp. I've tried to make terrain before, but without great success. So now I can actually 3D print more detailed terrain than I could ever make and I can even make unique bases for my armies. Of course, you can 3D print entire Warhammer armies at a fraction of the cost, and without a 3D printer, I wouldn't be able to stay in this hobby. But that's a problem that I'm gonna to touch on later. But before I do, I think 3D printing could very well be the one thing that makes Warhammer popular again. The biggest barrier to getting started in Warhammer, first and foremost, is the cost. Now, this is where I think the 3D printing will actually help because it could either force Cheetops to lower their prices, which I'm sure even the most staunch, diehard, loyalist Cheetop fans will appreciate, or we could even see them implementing an aspect of 3D printing into their business. Now, I say an aspect because I don't think that they're going to start producing any STL files. It's just too easy to pirate, but of course I would love to be wrong. They could actually make their own 3D printer that uses their own slicer and then use their own files that can only be read by the printer and slicer, but that's a lot of investment for a company that is very publicly against 3D printing and would quite frankly send the wrong message out. And of course, there are always ways around things. They have shareholders that are expecting a certain level of return from their investment, and they also want the certainty and stability, which selling a digital product that is gonna directly compete with your gold mine of plastic models, I don't think that's really gonna be the right thing to do for them. But knowing the way that they price items, I'm sure they would still manage to find a way to sell us files of intercessors for £30 a pop. I think that the 3D printing is going to be here to stay for a very, very long time, and I'm really glad that I've adopted it relatively early. It's also helped me be able to collect Warhammer again after being out of the hobby for over a decade due to it not being an option financially. I now enjoy the hobby more as an adult because now I can print off any model that I want, and I also can start experimenting with all different paints because the money that I would have spent on models is now freed up for other things in the hobby. Because the models cost pennies to print, Print, all of the stress and pressure of potentially ruining a model with a bad paint job and wasting my time is non-existent. And I believe 3D printing has actually made me a better painter because of it. The quality of 3D printing is already 95% of the way there and that's with even just the basic budget resin printers. Never mind these new 8K resin printers that are coming out and they are putting out quality that is pretty much gonna overtake G-dubs. About 99% of the models that I've printed off, I would consider them on the same level as Games Workshop in terms of quality. Most of the time, 3D printed models actually resolve one of my biggest pet peeves with the official models, and that's that there's too much bloody detail in them. It was something that I came to realize whenever I was doing my challenge of painting up a thousand points of Space Marines, which a majority of them were official models. Every time when I see someone say that the quality of 3D printing is rubbish, or that they have had a terrible experience whenever they tried to 3D print. 99% of the time they were using an FDM printer and it was maybe from like five years ago, which in itself is an absurd statement whenever you can see everyone else being able to produce quality models out of their resin printers. Alongside technology in general getting better every year, it's actually more so for 3D printing, which is increasing at an incredible pace. As a side note, FDM printing is naturally gonna need more fine tuning and calibration to get better quality prints. And although in my opinion, it's more work than a resin printer, you can still achieve 
very high detailed models. I haven't always been so anti cheat ups and in fact one of the main goals of this channel originally was to break down the them versus us to fight that is in the Warhammer community. I love Warhammer, the lore is one of the best out there for a game and it's also been there for me through the hardest parts of my life and it's quite simply the best hobby in the world. Saying all that, I don't like cheat ups, I don't like their business practices and I especially don't like the way that they price their models. I got into Warhammer in primary school so for you Americans I think that might be grade school. I was 10 or 11 years old and there was that one guy that brought in all of the new trends. He was the first one to bring in Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh and then of course Warhammer. We have all had that one moment that makes us realize that this is the hobby that we want to be in and right now I want you to leave a comment below and let me know what your moment was. I want to hear it. I'll never forget that first moment I seen the Space Marine. As soon as I got home I begged my parents to take me to the nearest local games workshop store so that I could get my own box of Space Marines. I remember when I first stepped into that store and I just looked around and there were all the different boxes of models and there were all the tables were all like set up perfectly with the terrain and it looked so cool to play on and there were loads of people there that were just like me. I felt like I truly belonged and after having my first introductory game against one of the staff members, I was absolutely hooked. I got a box of tactical space marines and I also got a iron warriors warsmith because even at a young age I knew that chaos was the best. But then life happened and we all got older and we all started drifting apart and I tried to keep up with Warhammer by myself as much as I could. I didn't have the most straightforward time being a teenager but I'm sure that's not a rare thing to hear and Warhammer was that one release, it was that one constant in my life at that time. I would lock myself away for hours at a time and I would just be sitting listening to my Tenacious D CD while I was building and painting the models and I had my How to Paint books alongside my White Dwarf and in front of me I would have the back of the box so I could see what paints I needed. But slowly my interest in the hobby just started to fade because there weren't many people around me that actually played it and there wasn't things like Discord or Reddit back then. Warhammer is a very expensive hobby and the price is what is leading more people into 3D printing in the first place. I wish that 3D printing was a thing whenever I was younger because it would have meant that I could have stayed in the army and it would have meant that it maybe would have been more popular near me. 3D printing won't be the end of Warhammer or G-Dubs. It will be themselves that cause it. The cost of entry and the hoops that you have to jump through just to enjoy the game it's just too much. There are some in a very focal minority that feel like if you can't afford the hobby then you shouldn't be in it. But all that's doing is adding another layer of gatekeeping onto an already very small community. I've been growing a community over the last few months where I feel like I actually belong and it's because of that kind of gatekeeping. And if you want the same where you feel like you need to belong in a community then like the video, subscribe and consider becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member so you'll get access to the private Discord which is full of like-minded people and we're chatting every day. And if you're sitting there with more questions like what are the top 5 armies that I should 3D print then you need to watch this video next because I'll tell you exactly and my choices aren't the norm.